Hello and welcome back to the Looking Stylish YouTube channel. Today's video is all about how to make a very simple basic outfit look more stylish. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm starting with a really simple outfit, which is a pair of kind of prop leggings and a t-shirt. Now these are the leggings that I wear all the time. They're from Eileen Fisher. Um, I won't bore you with the details because I know I have mentioned them a hundred times. But um, I have them in three different colours. The first pair that I bought was a navy pair and that's what I'm featuring in this video. And I'm featuring that because at the same time I bought a linen t-shirt which is kind of an A-line shape and it's slightly longer at the back than it is at the front. And I've had these two pieces probably for about four years. They've had a lot of wear and the t-shirt really is starting to come to the end of its life. I've used these pieces because although they are nice quality pieces, they have got a little bit um, well-worn, shall we say. So um, they really do need dressing out up if I want to go out of the house in them. I do sometimes sit at my desk and work in them and that's absolutely fine, but if I wanted to go out somewhere and keep those pieces on, I would feel that I needed to do something to them so that they looked a little bit better. So um, I'm going to slot in a picture so that you can see what the two pieces look like. And um, then I'm going to create three different outfits to show you how you can dress them up and make them a little bit more stylish. All of the pieces that are still available, I will link in the description box. If they're no longer available, I will try and find you some similar pieces. But obviously look in your wardrobe as well and see what you've got that's similar. I'm using navy blue, you don't have to, it could be black, it could be any colour really, but I'm starting really with um, two pieces in a neutral that are very basic. So for the first outfit, and my first tip to make something look more stylish is to add a jacket. And in this case, I've um, picked a jacket which works for me. It's got a short collar, it's kind of a swing shape, so it works really well on my body shape. So again, I would say look for a jacket that works well for you. I've picked a neutral here, it's in a taupey grey, but when you're picking a jacket for yourself, you could pick a neutral or you could pick a colour that you know works really well on you. Now, if you're curvy and you have got a waist, wear a jacket that's got some waist emphasis to it that's going to make those two pieces um, have a little bit more shape. Um, if you have got a straight body shape, then you might want to choose one of this season's uh, kind of must-have double-breasted blazers in a longer length. Or if you're petite, look for something that's um, much more fitted and neater. So um, don't necessarily follow the jacket that I'm using, but it's just to give you an idea, add a jacket, but pick one that works well for you. Now I picked this jacket, as I said, in a kind of taupey grey colour, so I've matched my accessories with that because I want to kind of pull the whole look together and make it look quite minimalist but chic. So I've gone for a shoulder bag, um, beautiful leather shoulder bag from Coach, which I've had for quite a few years as well. I've added in a pair of um, ballet pumps, but they're the ones that you saw that I wore to um, Dallas, and they have a scalloped edge to them. So that kind of gives them a little bit more interest. And then finally, I've included a necklace. But so it's kind of got these grey beads to it, which picks up on the other accessories. So I've kept everything quite minimalist um, as far as colours go to give it that sort of top to toe chic look. So that's my first tip for making an outfit more stylish is to add a jacket. Now the second one is to add a pop of colour and in this case I've been quite specific and I've added red. If you have a warm skin tone like me then look for something like the red I've got on, a kind of bricky red or um, a strawberry red or an orangey red. If you've got a cool skin tone, then look for a red which is kind of more of a raspberry red colour. 
but anyone can wear a true red. So what I've done with this one, I've added a really big statement necklace. Now, I know this one isn't available anymore, I'm afraid, but I will try and find you something that would work. And then to that, I've added a pair of um, backless red loafers. Now, these weren't expensive. They were from Marks and Spencers a couple of years ago. L there are so many pairs of loafers around at the moment, and you can get them in all sorts of different colours. So if you didn't want to go for the red option, you could perhaps choose pink or you could choose another blue that would go with the navy. I mean, really the choice is yours as far as colour is concerned, but I really liked this combination of the red and the navy. And then I've added uh, my mulberry handbag. So I've kind of made the outfit look a little bit more expensive by adding some classic but quality pieces. So look for those little extra details which will elevate the outfit too. So my second tip is to add a pop of colour and keep everything in that same colour. So if you decide to go for a pink, get the bag, the shoes and the necklace in a pink as well. And then for my third outfit, I've gone for a really classic combination of navy and white. If you don't want to go for a pure white, you can always find an off-white. And um, the cardigan that I'm wearing in this outfit is a linen cardigan, so it's a nice sort of lighter weight one um, for the summer. Again, it's one which is oh, a donkey's years old. I mean, really old. This was from LK Bennett years and years ago. Um, but I will find you some other cardigans as well. And then I've added a white shoe. Now the white shoe is this season's must have coloured shoe. Um, and if you're my age, then you might have some views about white shoes and whether or not you should be wearing them. Um, I actually think having kind of come round to the idea again that they look really great. And um, just to let you know, if you're in Stylish at 50, which I'll leave a link below, I am going to be doing a blog post on how to wear white shoes as well, but I digress. Um, so yeah, so for this one, I've gone for a classic combination of navy and white with the white cardigan, the white shoes, and then I've added a necklace in um, white beads and silver as well. So I think that that kind of gives it that um, sophisticated look that navy and white always has. And it's a great conversation and it's a great combination for spring as well. So for my third um, option, I've done that classic combination of navy and white. As I say, you don't have to go with white if you would prefer to wear a soft white. Um, it could even be a stone color. So you're kind of using that idea of navy and white, but perhaps finding something that works better with your coloring. So those are my three ideas for how to make um, a simple outfit look much more stylish. And I think these are the kind of things that you can use with anything that you've got in your wardrobe. So if you've got pieces that you think, mm, they feel like they're a little bit scruffy or they're a little bit boring, think about some of those ideas. Would it look better with a jacket? Would it look better with a nice pop of color to it? Or could you do another classic combination with it? So again, if you've got black pieces, black and white is fantastic together. Um, if you've got pieces in grey, the red looks really good with grey. So hopefully this has given you some ideas of how you can create outfits using things that you've already got in your wardrobe, um, but just adding a few pieces to make them look a little bit more stylish, as we're all about looking stylish. So um, I hope that was useful for you. As I said, I will link anything in the description box um, that is still available or I will find alternatives. I will also put a link to Stylish at 50 in there. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you did. If you click on the little bell, you'll get a notification of when my next video is released. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.